preparation how the lord prepares people in exile they were prepared they were as the as the plate is been washed before serving they were made empty in the wilderness so pain punishment is going to be a teacher the pain punishment is going to be a strength a food in their lives that's how the word says though and do do the lord give you bread of adversity and the water of affliction see normally a food or drink will give you sustain you empower you strengthens you so the this bread is going to be affliction and water of adversity so that's how the lord is going to teach us so it will make you grow the food will as the food help you to grow this pain affliction trauma will definitely help you to grow you have to own it my dear friends so the, uh, to to level the ground you have to back away it. it causes pain there's no other way that's exactly why the lord is saying yet your teacher will not hide himself anymore but your eyes shall see your teacher now this is the real life that real struggle when you don't know that you are being formed if you know that you are being formed formation if you know that of course then it's a kind of a consolation so in pain there is a time where where you don't know that you are being formed in the presence of god is completely absent from your senses so you're stuck i mean that's that's terrible trauma that's where exactly lord said Adona Eloi Eloi Laba Sabachthani my lord my lord why have you forsaken me so it sounds we find this how the the plight of that person when you miss the presence of god in his life you're completely lost but then there comes speaks up at a moment they have to go through pain food of adversity what of affliction yet the teacher is going to be present so this will form them my dear friend this is exactly what should happen in our lives the gospel we find how jesus called them to them and he called to himself he's called to him his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and heal every disease and and every affliction these 12 jesus sent out instructing them so it's a empowerment and empowering and sending so this is this is you should happen now in our lives in exile my dear friends in pain you are being formed the lord is going to be with you so that day that joy and pain will intermingle the people shall dwell in zion in jerusalem you shall weep no more he will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your city as soon as he hears it he answers you there will be time of answering my dear friends your ear shall hear words being behind you saying this is the way walk in it when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left he will given and he will but on the other left the the your you will get the direction and this is the way and your ears will hear turn to right or left you will have the direction so in that formation you will come to a point you have been directed and of course there is pain trauma cross you have we cannot bypass it you have to go through them but then that's going to be strength in your life that's going to be food and drink in your life the lord is saying and on the very lofty mountain and every high hill there will be brooks running with water in the day of great sun slaughter when the towers fall moreover the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun and the light of the sun will be sevenfold as the light of seven days my dear friends so there will be so the glory is waiting glory is waiting you are being called 
to go through the pain, prepare ourselves with pain for the, for the glory. So that's exactly what the Lord is saying. He saw people like a flock without a shepherd. They are simply lost. So the moment you lose this, my dear friends, this food, this drink, this direction, this formation, you are just lost. Your life will be very vulnerable. That's what he's saying. When he saw the crowds, he, was, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. So if you, if you are, of course it's painful. Word is like a double-edged sword. You are being curtailed, controlled, governed, ruled, crushed, broken, cut open. You are being tested with the word. But then it's clear formation. It's strength in your life. So if you don't have that, you are just like sheep without shepherd. I mean, sheep without shepherd means he, he, the sheep will lose everything in their lives. Shepherd and sheep are connected with the word. That's how the Lord is going to lead us. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. So Jesus warned people like sickles. That word should be like swords. Swords. Because it is important that you reap the harvest. That's why he called them to himself and empowered them. Empower means it's not a privilege, no. So to empower, they had to go through pain. How the Lord saved the world with cross, there's no other way. God came to the world and born as a child. So in that incarnation, the parents of Jesus, Mother Mary and Joseph, they had to go through terrible agony, isn't it? It's all formation. That's how the Lord is going to wash the plate before he serves you. And that pain is going to be strength. My dear friends, so we need people who harvest. We need workers who harvest. Not cuddle the harvest, no. To harvest, you grab the corn and you cut with the sickle and give it to the Lord. For that you need formation. So there is no other way other than going through mill. There are broad ways, highways. You can, the, Lord, the, the devil will beckon you to enter through the, from the broad, the broad way, broad gate, but the narrow path is different. My dear friends, so it's a time the Lord invites us and assures us He's going to be with us when He teaches us. Teaching is going to be difficult all the time. Teaching requires you to have the yoke in your shoulder. As the, as the worker puts the yoke on the oxen, you have to bear that yoke and you are being controlled by the world. Seemingly you lose freedom, you don't like it because the world will enjoy, enjoy like anything. Your enjoyment is being controlled, but then remember, that's going to be the food, that's going to be the water. Your journey long, your journey in this path. So Lord is inviting you in this time of preparation. It's joyful pressure preparation because the Lord is when you are when you are formed, when adversity, when trauma, when you go through, you, remember, you believe that He is going to be with you in that agony. Remember, He's going to strengthen you, empower you, so that He can send you. Finally, the word of God, word of word of God says, "Heal the sick, raise the dead." Cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You receive without pain, give without pay. So it's an invitation for you because the Lord is sending you after preparing you. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.